with Mockingjay Part 3 having already taken in over $520 million at the worldwide box office, the Hunger Games franchise is by far the most profitable series Lionsgate has ever produced. Now, even though Katniss has fired her last arrow, it seems Lionsgate is eager to go back into the arena as soon as possible. At a recent event in New York, Lionsgate Vice Chairman Michael Burns said that the franchise will live on and on. If we went backwards, there obviously would be arenas. This is in addition to a previous statement by the CEO of Lionsgate, who stated that they are actively looking at some development and thinking about prequel and sequel possibilities. Mark, would it be a good idea for Lionsgate to produce Hunger Games prequels? Only if they like money. And if they do, <laughs> it's a very smart move to make Hunger Games. Anything in the Hunger Games universe, I like how he, how he likened it to we have arenas. And if you have an arena and inside that arena is anything in the Hunger Games universe, people are one. They want to go see this stuff. I think a prequel is more intriguing because I'd like to see how the world became what it was when we met Katniss and District 13. I don't know what you can do from a standpoint as far as... You could probably do a sequel, I guess, without giving away the events of the last movie if you haven't seen Mockingjay Part 2. But there's a lot of stories you can tell here. So it's not at the top of my wish list to go revisit The Hunger Games, but I know a lot of people love this story and the source material. So I think it's a good move. Yeah, now everybody knows that I'm not a big fan of the concept of prequels. There certainly have been ones that have worked. There have. But for the most part, philosophically, I don't like it. But... I've always been open to the idea of prequels when it comes to something like, say, Game of Thrones. Because you can mm -hmm. go back 200 years where, yes, it's the same world, and yes, it's kind of a, a prequel, but it's not the same characters. You don't have to wonder if, you know, uh, I, I don't know, name any one of the characters. You don't have to worry if that guy's going to live because you already know he does because you see him in the further films. That's why I kind of like the idea of this new Harry Potter franchise they're doing is that, yes, it's in the Harry Potter world, but Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them takes place like 60 or 70 years before the event. You're not going to see Harry or Hermione or, or Ron or any of these characters at all. So, yes, it's the same world. Yes, it's technically a prequel but it still kind of works I believe there's a lot of history here in, in the Hunger Games that you can go back 40 years or 50 years or whatever maybe you do have a President Snow I mean I, I don't know how far back they go but I for me my favorite of the Hunger Games films was number two and I think the most popular aspect of it was the arena stuff everything that had to do with the Hunger Games and I think if you can go back to that I think there's some possibilities here. Not a guaranteed success, but I think there's something here that can work. Schnepp, what do you think? Yeah, I wonder. I mean, uh, you know, The Hunger Games is definitely very inspired by Battle Royale. I wonder if they went back and kind of did an origins of how they thought maybe The Hunger Games the, would help society and not become what it actually became, a right. very horrible, futuristic world. So that's my only fear is, like, you already know how it ends. So it's like the interest of... For at least for me, is seeing like you know which weirdo was like this is a good idea, you know, and seeing how that all, how the how the different houses all formed. I think that would make sense. But it's the same thing with episode seven. Why we're all excited about it is because we want to know what happened to that universe thirty years after we were all singing yeah. Yubnub on yeah. Endor. We right. don't know what went on, and it seems like at least in Star Wars, a lot of stuff went down, and there's new problems. New problems will arise in this world too. Who's going to rise up and defend whoever the good people are mm -hmm. against the bad people? And if you did a prequel, who do you? Cast is President Snow. Jack Bauer, baby. Keith He's right, right there. there. Yep. He uh, wait a sec. Snow is Snoke. Oh, there we yeah. go. Oh, Snow, Snow is Snow. Yeah. Now, what if they did this, too? I'm okay, too, if they go forward and they do a sequel. I would just want them to jump forward enough that it has nothing to do with Katniss. Because mm. that story's been told. So don't just jump ahead five years after the events of Mocky J Part 2. Jump 40 years ahead, you know, where now there's new stuff going on in Pen M. Maybe, you know, one ca one of the districts is rising to power again. Maybe it's not District 1. Maybe it's District 8 or whatever. There's some interesting stories there to tell, too, but a prequel could work as well. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.